Okay, don't mind me, I'm just testing something. Really quick. Really quick. Okay, cool. So. Alright, so. What is going on, everybody? Let's see what guys here. Let's see. Talk about. Good man. Lars. So. Now. Lars in Tekken 6 was just undoubtedly amazing and godlike. Get ready I'm going to show you why. This guy, my god, was just awesome. Second to Bob. But not only was he awesome, he's very easy to play. You got rewarded for playing a character that was super easy. So... Uh, first of all, I, I just have to point something out really quick as well, is who else misses this boundary? Man, if he had this as a screw, oh my god, I would do this, I would pick Lars solely because of that move right there. Boom, boom. That just looks like, that just looks devastating compared to how it looks in Tekken 7. Like this right here, oh my god, I'd pick him in Tekken 7 just because of that screw. But, um, Lars in this game was just such a monster that, you know, he, he could have withstand against, he could have, um, matched up against Bob, but Bob was just a little bit too broken in this game. So, I would say it's Bob. Lars and Jack Six that are tied. Lars and Jack Six that are tied. Because Bob just wrecks everybody in this game. But enough of them. Let's talk about Lars right now. So Lars, I want to talk about his um, up forward three. This move would evade everything. And I mean everything. Anything you throw out of the jab, he's evading that. Hello? He's evading that. Even a mid sometimes he would evade those mids. I mean, he would evade um, Hayashi's... Um, he probably evade his own mid. <laughs> you know? He just, he evades a lot of moves with up 4-3. And you get um, a combo out of it. You could do something easy like this. Down or you can do something like this if you try to do. Uh, oops. Um, uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm butchering. I'm butchering. Stop. <laughs> It's good I'm not timing the loss in two. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'll try one more time, but if not, I don't care. That's okay. So, um, and he also had really easy combos. So <laughs> I said easy combos, I just kept dropping that one. Except I have this one. Okay, I'll do this. Although, um, something like that. Boom, boom. You gotta forgive me. I don't play um six anymore. I haven't played in so long. Something like this here, here, here. Here, look at that, 89 damage, and I wasn't even, you know, that's not even optimal. I could have done uh, here, 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 and then here, but I'm gonna talk about his wall combos, right? Because what you saw there was it, it was devastating, but 
that's not the problem. The problem is the wall damage. So, Lars would do something like get you here, 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 um, sorry, here, 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 here. get you here, 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 hmm. doesn't want to land, boom, and you'll get 74 damage, 74, now, I showed you something that was, you know, like, okay, 74, like, that's not bad, right, but here's the real problem, bound, because of the bound system in this game, this one right here, that's right, and look at that, it was already at 45 damage. So I could do something like here, here, and here. Or something like, oops, something like here, here, here. Just monster damage across the board. Just, he had, he was literally the guy where if you got stuck on the wall with him, nothing you can do. Literally nothing. You just had to eat all of this damage. You know, on top of his easy way of getting you to the wall. You know. Like. Oh, excuse me. Lar and I also want to talk about Something that was ridiculously broken in this game was the fact that he has, you know, good tracking like this. He has something like um, this. Back one plus two, he's got a um, back one. But the real problem is this move right here. One, two. Now, I want someone to try and tell me what, what is wrong with this. Alright, seeing normal, just, you know, one, two. But Lars is notorious in this game for having tracking on the second hit. So Lars, if someone sidesteps him to the left, is kind of screwed. Right? This will this won't track. Um, that won't track. But one two will track a ten frame move. Will track. And you know what other move tracks? Down back to one. <laughs> you know, it, it should, and look at the range too. I mean, all you have to do is this, with them. and somebody will start getting scared. They'll think they'll try and duck this, and you come at this again, or they'll think they're gonna go here, keep blocking up, keep blocking up, hit it with the low. Now you got them scared, and they just keep going. You know, or if they want to press a button after. This, Still has that awesome counter hit of uh, back four. So, needless to say, Lars in this game was just he was just a monster to deal with, and there was no question if he got you to the wall or if he got you uh, to get scared of this mix-up. Uh, double tracking moves then it was just pretty much game over you know um, uh, but yeah that's pretty much it so I want to talk about was Lars and his ridiculously OP stuff and um, hope you guys enjoyed I was gonna say who I was gonna do next but I'll just um, leave that for you guys and um, I'll see you guys in the next one all right peace